Yesterday was Father's Day, but I spent it across the ocean. It's been five years since we celebrated together. I know that's strange for the both of us. There's a part of me that wishes I stayed and gave you one last chance, but I was afraid of you. You seemed off the rails and I didn't know what to do. Still, I look back on our better moments, listening to music in the car before school. That's back when I loved music. I mean, I, I still like it now, but it's just not the same. I remember when I was five years old and I asked you to eat all the sauces at the Chinese restaurant by themselves just to see the look on your face, and you did it. You were completely disgusted by it, but you still did it just to entertain me. I think that man is still somewhere buried deep inside of you. I hope you can bring him back for me. You always told others how great I was, and I think that you meant it. That's why I put a lot of pressure on myself, even when you told me not to. I wanted to live up to the version of myself that you saw. Or maybe you didn't see it, and that was just your way of living vicariously through me. I think the truth is probably somewhere in between. I walked out on you physically because I felt that you walked out on me emotionally. Some nights you wouldn't come home. Yeah, you left money for food, but I was all alone. I couldn't pretend to be interested in welcoming all these random women over to cure your midlife crisis. You're always chasing something, and sadly, I can relate. You were stuck in between two worlds, and so am I. Your family and mom's family couldn't be more different. I felt out of place too, but I wanted to make it work. I don't know if you did. Originally, I thought you chose your family over me and mom, but I don't think you chose anything except to indulge in your vices. As if you tried your best for me growing up, but then just threw it all away in the end. I truly want to make amends. However, I can't let you too close because I don't want to get hurt. Still, I remember those Phillies games we went to, and those car rides we had with our dog Buddy. I remember when the Eagles finally won the Super Bowl and we watched it together. I used to suppress those memories because I thought it would take away the pain you caused me. But, it only made it worse. I'm starting to learn that to cure pain, you have to go to its source. So, I'm accepting that we had good memories together and you're not an evil, villainous person. You're a flawed human being like we all are. The relationship we had didn't work out ideally. However, I don't think this throws away your value as a human being. I think one day we'll be able to find peace, whether that's with or without each other. Maybe I'll send you this, but I'll have to find where you're at first. From your estranged son, Brendan.